Hello everyone, this is Brad Lewis with Premier Marketing and I wanted to first thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this presentation that we have today on Life Insurance Headquarters. Uh, we really are looking forward to helping you discover the Premier Agent Portal and where you can go to learn more about the life insurance products that we offer on the fully underwritten and simplified underwritten side of the business for term, universal life, and whole life products. Uh, we're excited to have Kathy Elkins with us here today to run through uh, the agent portal and to show you how her and her team work with agents each and every day to help them be successful with the, with the life insurance products that we offer here at Premier. So with that, I want to turn the call over to Kathy, and she's going to run through and show uh, how the Premier portal can help you be successful in the life insurance business. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate that introduction. One of the biggest things that we get calls on every day is we need help to find quotes, applications, anything like that that can help you with your business prosper and without having to stop to take a few extra minutes to give us a call. We're, what we're trying to do is explain to you exactly where we go and get our quotes and how we do things from our end. And with this information, hopefully this will give you the knowledge um, to get started, to, to go to the same places that we do to um, find the right information you're looking for. First of all, I want to take you out to our website. Our webpage is www.premiersmi.com. Once you get out to our webpage, you're going to go right up to the agent portal, which is over in the right side of the screen. It's kind of a mustard color. Go ahead and click on that. Now, if you don't have a user number yet or don't remember your user number, this is where you can email me, Kathy, at premiersmi.com or you can give my team a call at 800-365-8208. The team extension is 607, my extension is 207. So what you'll need to do is make sure that you're an active agent with Premier, and then you'll get a user, user ID that we can enable you into using the system for yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my information right now, and then my password. Now your password must be a 12 digit um, character consuming of either it's going to be um, words, numbers, and characters. And what you're going to do is once you enter into the username, which we will give you from Premier, you're going to go in there and you're going to enter that information if you've never been in there before and then it's going to take you to another spot that's going to say click here to change your password and then you're going to get an email from iPipeline explaining how to change your password and get yourself set up. Once you're set up, you're going to see the same thing I am seeing here with all these, I call them buttons, information areas that you can go into to help you with your life production and business. The first place I'm going to take you into is called LifePipe. It's our quote engine. And like I said before, this is exactly where we take um, ourselves into to run the term quotes, majority of the GUL quotes, and information that you're looking for that you call us on average day for quotes. So I just want to make sure this is, you all know that this is available for yourself as well. So once you get in here, you can enter the client information, and I'm just going to enter this as sample, sample client. You don't have to put a name in here if you don't want to. The nice thing about this, this is your own personal site, first of all. So as you notice, it says, Welcome Kathy on here. This will have your name in here. No one else should be able to get in here because this is your own personal information. Whatever you do in here is your own personal private information, and it remains private. We cannot get inside there. Um, the only company that can actually get inside here to help you, if you call them or we call them with you, is iPipeline. So I'm just going to enter a date of birth, and you should be entering and using date of birth just because the date of birth is actually most of the carriers are aged nearest on their birth dates. So I'm just going to enter in um, a date of birth, and no, this is not my date of birth. So 0101-1970, um, and as you notice on this, it says age 50, age nearest to 51. I wanted to show you that just so you can tell if some of the carriers are going to show age 51 on this one. We're going to go ahead and enter a mail, and then you can always make sure that you change to the correct state. We live in Nebraska. I'm just going to go ahead and keep Nebraska up there. And we're going to jump down to term. 
the different options we do have out here are term and term with simple event issue for your term options. We're going to start with the traditional term. Go ahead and leave all products, and then you can select your term length. I'm going to select a 20-year term, but you can select more, so I'm going to select a 30 as well, and you see that you do have a 40 up here. We do have an ART, it's one-year term. If you don't see like a five-year term here, that's because we don't have any five-year terms. And I'm going to go ahead and put a death benefit in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put 100,000. I am going to go ahead and put 250. You can put in up to three different term lengths here. And I'll go ahead and put up to 500. Any additional riders that you can add to this if you'd like, accidental death benefit, waiver of premium, return of premium, or children's riders. You can add those if you need to, if you wish. At this time, I'm not going to select any writers just so we can see how this process works. So let's say that you know this client, you know them very well, and you know they're not on any medication, they don't have any family history, their driving is impeccable, and they don't have anything going on, their height and weight's in check. So you look at this and you say enter health profile or select profile. From the information you know on your client, you can go ahead and hit select health class and you can choose the, client, the information down below. So we're going to just say for now on, for right now, this client is preferred non-tobacco. So I'm going to select that. We don't have to worry about table ratings because he's going to be a preferred. And you can just go back to get quotes. It takes a few seconds to load this information up. But once it does, I'll go ahead and show you everything that you need to find in this area. So right at the top right away, you have a 20-year term and a 30-year term, and you can toggle back and forth between the two, which is nice. I already have this marked as monthly, but you can select annual, semi-annual, quarterly, or monthly. The first quote you're going to see here, and they do run these in order of premium being the cheapest to the most expensive. So we do have Transamerica with their super plot here. We have Protective Life, Banner, Securian, Sagicor. Got a lot of different carriers we have out here for us. Protective, North American, Foresters, Lincoln, Nationwide, Transamerica, Prudential, AIG, United of Omaha, Emeritus, and Assurity. Those are going to fall into the $100,000 death benefit. So if I keep on scrolling down, you're going to see most of the same carriers again for the $250 for your clients. Let me keep scrolling down again, and you're going to find the $500 your clients. Same information, same carriers with this. The nice thing which you like to do, um, I want to know some more information about the trends that are super. You can click on the information. Some of the information will be here or not. Some of it won't be. Um, depends on the carrier. You can view all details on this. It's not going to give you a lot of information if the carrier doesn't allow it. But majority of the times it will give you the details about the product and some of their writers that are available and their special features on here, which is nice, especially if you're looking, I just need a little bit of information. Where do I go? How do I get to here? What's my information I, I need on this? And it'll open this information up for you on that. That's why it's a, always a big um, suggestion to go out there and get the information. That way you can get the details that you're looking for for your client. I just got out of that, so I'm gonna go back in here and select everything all over again. Apologize about that. Everything looks a little differently when you're not at your computer, so. Okay. Let this circulate again. So let's say that you're talking to your client and you have them at your desk and you're looking for a couple good options for them. Well, I want to look at Transamerica. They're coming at $25.97. And I'm not choosing these in any order, just what we have up here on top. And let's say you have a client who says, I want to do a non-med product. We'll show you that later, but we do have a few carriers that are popping up in here too that are showing accelerated underwriter writing eligible. What that means is there's a possibility of them getting not having to not have to do a medical exam or having to do um, 
medical records. You can always call us and ask us more details about that when you're out here. But for right now, I'm just going to choose Transamerica on the top. I'm going to choose Transamerica at 250 by checking over here in the little box. And Transamerica comes up at 500 Pretty sweet. Good prices. I'm going to scroll back up and go to the 30-year. Transamerica comes up again for the 100 for their price. 250 and 500 again. Now, a lot of agents ask for this. How do I get this over to my clients? If you go to Download, Comparison Ledger, and it's going to generate a PDF for you to open up, so make sure that you have um, nothing being blocked. And the nice thing is this gives us four pages. You have your client's date of birth. You have their age, male, and the state. And this is your $100,000 quotes comparison between a 20 and a 30. And it gives you the annual, semi-annual, quarterly, and monthly on the next page. Here's your 250. Here's your uh, annual, semi-annually, quarterly, and monthly. And then in 500, the same thing, just comparing the 20 and 30 year terms. Now, a lot of people ask this question, what does this mean? This is your monthly premium. This is five years of premium, but this is your total that the client is paying after the first five years. And this is the total they'll be paying after the first five years on a 20 and a 30 year term. Okay. So you can save this as a PDF, and then you can email this to your client or print it out if they're in the office and pass it over to them. If this is something that your client is interested in right away, we have these apply buttons, which is nice. You can go ahead and click apply, and this is gonna give you a couple different options on this. One is an e-application process, and two is paper forms. The difference between these, the paper forms, you're gonna print and get a wet signature, and the e-application is going to take you into the start of a new e-application process. I'll show you more in a second here. I'm going to skip down to Protective and click Apply. Let's say that you're already appointed with Protective. Protective offers a different type of e-application, which is a drop ticket. And then they have the paper forms as well. Some carriers will offer all three. It's up to you to choose the one that's going to work best for you and your client. Um, I'm just going to take you into a drop ticket real quick here. We're not going to go through the whole process, but just so you can see what it looks like, it does open up another avenue for you. So within this information, you can enter your client's name. Again, client sample. The date of birth pops in already, the age, and mail. You have the state, and you have term, and I already have the product chosen for me, which is nice and I can hit select, and it's gonna take me into the application process. What you're doing inside here is private. That's why everybody has their own agent portal. Everything is remains private for you and for your client. Do any of these conditions apply? These are some information that's gonna be asked. When you're going through this, more than one owner, the premium will be paid by the list bill or payroll deductions. If everything in here is a no, you just click no. Go down and hit next. Then the application process begins. We'll go through this information, which I tell agents all the time, if you want to know what's inside of the application process, open one up. Start one yourself. Don't submit it, but this is your trial application, so you know the questions. If you know your client well enough, you serviced them before, maybe you have this information ready to go, so all you need to do is call your client and, or have them at your, in your office to finish the information that they're going to get. You can enter their social security number, the country of birth. Everything highlighted in yellow is going to be what they're looking for. And then you can click Next. One of the biggest things that you're going to want to make sure is they have an email address and you have your email address entered in here. The primary beneficiary information and you can continue to click. Once you're going through this process, 
everything is highlighted. So I have the pre-qualification information marked yes. I have the proposed insured information has question marks, meaning I can't complete this application process without those being done. And then I have the planned information down here, and it's already here. I'm applying for preferred by premium amount, 100,000 and monthly. I'm not choosing any benefits, and I can continue to go on. There is some additional training on this, so we can help you. Uh, give us a call. We can show you where this is, information's at. I'll tr make sure I show you it today. But this is a quick, easy way of doing an online application for you and your client. I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to get out of here again and go back into the quotes and show you additional quotes again. So let's say you have a female, and we're going to give a different date of birth. Little younger client, 31, 32 female. This client wants something simplified issue automatically. They know they don't want to have to do an exam. They don't have time. They're very healthy, just does not want to have to do an exam. But they want to apply for $200,000. When you're running a $200,000 case, I always run 250 with it, just to make sure that you can cover two different options for them. I'm still going to run a 20 and 30 year term. Now, unfortunately, most carriers will do a uh, term life simplified issue as standard, but there are a couple that do a preferred. So go ahead and select both. And if your client is healthy enough, they're going to go ahead and give that client a preferred non tobacco rating. Otherwise, some carriers just offer the standard non tobacco. So right now, I'm looking at for a female 31. Sagicore Life is coming up on top at $1,379 a month for a $200,000 life case, non-medical. For standard, they're $18.95. You're also going to see the other carriers that we have, Emeritus, Foresters. These carriers are actually non-med as well, which is nice, meaning your client will not have to do an exam with any of these. I wanted to show you this $200,000 compared to $250,000 just to give you an idea of why I do this. So Sagicor at preferred is $1,379 or $1,895 for standard. If I drop down to $250, you notice $1,443 for preferred or $1,908. You're talking pennies more to give an extra $50,000 with a death benefit. That's why I always run the $200 and $250 together. Once you go to a 30-year, some of the carriers change. So um, if you're looking for different options and you wonder, well, where did the carrier go? If they're not listed, that just means that they're not available for your client in this criteria that you're looking for. You can always toggle back and forth to the search again to make changes and do anything you need on that. I'm going to use the same client, and I'm going to show you a term, and I'm just going to show you a $100,000 death benefit. But right now, we're going to come back and say, I don't know what to put this client because she's got a few health risks. So right now, we're just going to call her um, Psy4, and we're going to say she's 220. Um, you can say she's a smoker, if you'd like. There's a couple different answers. This opens up some more questions for you. Select information. When did they last use tobacco? And you can go ahead and put in here, uh, quit less than a year ago, currently, or whenever they quit. I'm going to say this client currently smokes, and we're going to say she smokes cigarettes. That gives you different options of what the client can smoke. And how many per day? We're just going to say 10. You can add additional health details, and it's going to give you more information. So we're going to say she's not on any medication, but we're worried about family history. So you would click family history, and she has no driving violations. So we don't have to worry about that. So we, we know she's 54220, and you click next, and she does do tobacco and currently in cigarettes. Her blood pressure, we don't have to worry about that, so you don't have to answer it. Cholesterol, we don't have to worry about that, so don't have to answer. So let's say her dad passed away from cancer at a certain age. So we can go ahead and mark yes. Did client's father have a diagnosis of cancer, 
disease, um, diabetes, heart disease, or a stroke before age 80 or 70, sorry. And then we're going to go ahead and say uh, dad had, we'll say, prostate cancer. Okay. And then he was diagnosed, we're just going to say, we're making up things here, 58 years old. Did client's um, father die due to the conditions? Yes. Mark down the information where he died from, and then at death. We're just going to say 59. Again, the more information you have on your client, the better we're going to be able to, you, know, you will be able to dial down and get a, a better option for your client as well, just the same way we do. And let's say that's everything that you need to know there for your client. You can go ahead and get quotes, or you can continue on into the next option. Now, on this orange line, I bring this to your attention right away. Some carriers were excluded from results because they don't provide health profile details. To see a list, click the list of carriers. So if you're looking for any of these carriers to come up, they're not going to, just because they're not going to give the information you're looking for. So a 20-year term for this female, Banner Life is coming up the cheapest, standard tobacco for her height and weight and with her family history. Credentials next, and the Mutual of Omaha, your top three carriers within 100,000. Switch to 30 years, Banner, Mutual, and Protective again. Pretty self, easy to run once you get out here. If you ever have any questions, that's what we're here for, to help you, to make sure you're feeling comfortable in using this software. Again, if you need to click these and save these for your clients, you can email them over to them by saving them to a PDF or um, print them out for your clients. Do the comparison ledger. Open the ledger up. Here's your information, and then just go ahead and save them or print them. This information gives you the 20 year. You selected three carriers for 20 at 100,000, and then you selected three for 30 years. So it's going to give you a side by side information in which carrier they have. Go back out of there. And go back out of here. Now we're going to drop into, we're going to use the same client. We're going to drop into the Guaranteed Universal Life plan. And we've got different maturity ages. Um, majority of the time we're selecting to age 121, so I'm going to use that for you. And then we're going to start with death benefits of 50,000 and 100,000. Again, I'm not adding any writers at this time, but this time we're going to call this client. We know she's standard. We're looking for the best opportunity we can get for her. So then you just scroll down to standard tobacco because remember, she's a smoker. And we're going to get quotes. And these year carriers are popping up in the order, again, of the premium and the prices. Now, some carriers have a good rate right away on some options and they just continue to go on up. And if you have none available, there's a reason why. Um, if they're down at the bottom, usually it's a little bit more money or you're not gonna see them as monthly, you'll have to change the mode to annually. And then here's your 100,000. Your options. Again, not showing up, but you can change this to monthly or annual to find that. I'm going to click this one, and this one to give you an idea what it's going to show. Open up the ledger again. It says um, the premium price for the, uh, the American National for the Signature Guarantee UL, and then you have the banner for the Life Step UL. You scroll down below. It should give us information we're looking for. And there's your annual premium cost. So 452.36 for American National versus 690 and 92 for the banner, which was at the bottom of the list. So more expensive on that price. Okay. 
each time we do quotes, it does, we get asked this all, all the time, what's the best carrier for the for each client? And it always shows up something different. Each carrier that we do offer here, we do recommend highly. Um, just the different times, different changes of rates could possibly come up here. Um, carriers are always dropping rates. They're always um, changing rates. So the, the rates may go up from time to time or they may go down, they may fluctuate. So what you see today, you run the client, the same client um, differently and they could be all mixed up in this time frame here. Again, if you need information about the product, you can click on the product again and then view all details again to show you what the product information has. You have age limits, face amount, risk classifiers, a little bit of information about, uh, about the products here for yourself too. Now this client, um, or this case, we're looking at face amounts. This does say 100,000, all the way up to 50 million. We tell a lot of agents we work up to like 10 million, but plus, but there are some options if you're looking for those type of clients and want to help them out for 50, 50 million, that would be great. Right, I'm going to get out of here. Let's say that you have this information up and you don't want to lose it, but you want to compare it to age 100. You can just go ahead and click, give it a few seconds, it's going to generate, and then you have another tab up here that you can toggle back and forth to to show 100 to 121. So at 121, American National is coming up 3862. If you click it to 100, 3860. So you're only saving two pennies by dropping it down to age 100. From 5230 back to $50.85. So in the long run, if you can click, click it all the way out to 121 for your client, you're doing them a better deal. I want to show you this. Let's say you're working with a 70-year-old, we're going to say male. We're not going to change the state right now just because we're in Nebraska, but I want to show you doing a term with them. And I have agents tell me all the time they want to see the longest term that they can do. And we're going to run just 100,000 for right now. Maybe I'll do 250. So the longest one, either a 15 or 20 year term, what can we get your client? We're going to say instead of tobacco, their standard non-tobacco and get quotes, just on a term. So if they're 70, 15 years from now, they're going to be 85. 15 year, or 20 years from now, they're going to be 90. And here's their op options that are available for them at 15 and the premium prices that they're going to pay for 15 years. And 20 years. 307.87 for 20 years. 15 years is 201. Where this comes in handy is I'm going to change this to a GUL. And remember the ages we had. So we had 85 and 90, and I'm going to pull up 95. We're going to show that. $100,000 death benefit using a GUL and get quotes. To age 85, the term comes in pretty good. To age 90, the GUL comes in better than the term did. So it's a different avenue to look at for your clients. Basically, I consider a GUL, Guaranteed Universal Life, a term on steroids. It's going to run out to the age you dial it into. At this time, I dialed it into age 95, which was cheaper than the term with over 300. Or to 95, it's 276.60, which is still cheaper than the price we had for the term. And going to age 100, still more cost effective at that time frame for them. Just a couple different options to be paying attention to when you're looking at what we can do for your client and what you can do for your client. These tools that are available out here are wonderful to help you and get started. We just want to make sure that you're comfortable in handling um, our website and getting comfortable with that. I want to take you back to our website and show you a couple different other options. 
so forms and I've been out here long enough so now I'm gonna to have to re-log in so bear with me for a second and we're gonna go drop to forms it's Friday afternoon it's four o'clock and you have a client call and says I need to get a form I need to make a change so and the change is going to come with um, the United of Omaha so you can type in the United of Omaha and this is going to be a after sale so it's policyholder services which means the clients already have a policy they just may, may maybe need to make a change for an EST or change a beneficiary form put in your state type in term or the product that you're looking for and product name again term life answers and then the PDF information everything that comes up here is going to be your forms that you're using for after the service sales so you should be able to find information here that you might be looking for. Change of beneficiary on the application. So maybe they got remarried, they don't need the same beneficiary, or maybe they're, they're adding children, um, they're of age now. Let's say they need to change it into um, a trust. They can complete a trust form or a bank service change. Maybe they moved, change of address form. But everything that you're looking for as far as those type of products um, and the forms you're looking for, you can find at our website, which is nice. So that way if your client's in the office at that time, you don't have to worry about, you know, I can get this form to you on Monday or Tuesday the following week because it's Monday right at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and you're trying to get everything done yourself and have a great weekend. So um, let's say that you're looking for new business and we're still going to pick on United of Omaha. Um, pick the type of product again I might use whole life you're looking for the children's whole life app here's your application that you use and a replacement form if needed and you can click show forms package you can email this to yourself or print this out for yourself depends on what you're looking for Um, I'm going to go back and show you a couple other options I know are here. You know, Forces is one of them. Uh, new Business, Nebraska, Term Life, Your Term. Everything you're looking for here, including the underwriting guide, information here on the non med guide and your term product guide. You just click on that information and it's going to pop up what you're looking for. So if you need the term guide, sometimes the information's here. You just have to do a few clicks to find that information you're looking for. We're going to go back up here for the eApp drop ticket. So the client that we were working on earlier where we started in the application process, they called you back and said they're ready to go, I have free time now, let's get my cases going. You're going to want to click the button here for eApp drop ticket and then this is going to bring you to, as your information on it, and then a start new case or view my cases. Let's say you've already started the process, you've got it started, you just need to go back and make a few changes. So here was my sample client for 100,000 I worked on today. And um, here's the product that you're looking at in the carrier. You can just go ahead and click case information, open case. It's gonna take you back to where you left off on the information and you can hit select. And again, it's gonna take you right back to where you left off at. So you can collect and check information, you can continue, and you can always save again as you need to. If you need to view forms, you can click on that information as well. Make sure you don't have your pop-up blocker on. And then it'll pop up your 
application process that you've started already. You can always go back and do this on every application you've written and sent in so you have the information you need for your files. Since I didn't complete much, it's not going to give me much information on that yet. All right. I'm going to take you back to our main page and go into products. If you drop down to the term life, it's going to give you training and education. And right here is iPipeline training information and their video library. And this you do not have to be logged in for. But everything here to get on and do uh, any e-applications, e-application process is right here. A little quick detail on each one. How to create a login, how to access the iGo, information about your case, how to check it off in good order. When you're locking a case, if you're doing face-to-face -face or not, doing an email for signatures or a drop ticket versus e-app, which uh, what you're going to need in information to know, which is nice. Now, Premier also has out here, which is kind of nice. I'm going to go back into term. Underwriting. And we have questionnaires that can actually help you with any life cases that you have problems with, that you know your client needs some additional assistance. You can click there, and you're going to get the information you're looking for. So you've had a female that's got, had, breast cancer, and you have the questionnaire you're looking for for that. You can go out here and find that information. Complete that information and send it back to us to help you so we can actually help you go through the right steps, the right process, and get you the right carrier for yourself on that. Everything's pretty easy to transfer back and forth, to toggle back and forth in here. Um, again, if you have any questions, that's what we're here for to help you out. Uh, and I'm going to show you one more option here. Um, this is the current assumption IUL. Then we have the index IUL. And then the GUL benchmark. So a lot of people are looking, what's this option give you? I'm going to go ahead and give you the GUL benchmark, which is kind of nice. We're going to click that. We're going to do maturity to age 121. We're going to do a full pay. But a lot of times I get asked for a 10 pay. So we're going to shrink that up to a 10 pay meaning 10 payments and the policy is done, paid up in full, and the death benefit. We're going to do a $250,000 death benefit, and then select your health classes again, preferred. They're the same. we got to go ahead and put a new female in here. We're going to say your female is 35. Making up clients again. And then we're going to go ahead and click for results and get that loaded. The nice thing what you're going to see in here when you're looking at the benchmark is you're going to see the premiums as a 10 pay annual. So nationwide comes up and shows a little bit cheaper than North American. You have North American and you have AIG, Lincoln and Protective. Those are the options that are coming in. The reason why not everybody's showing up at this time frame is each carrier has their own unique information built into iPipeline that allows them for what we can see. I also like this because you can see this, what's the 10-year cash value on each policy at that time frame? Where's, again, where's some cash value going to be at? Not every ca carrier builds cash value on their GUL plans, but some do, which is nice. So there's your opportunity for a additional sales and closing the sales. A lot of clients like the, the, the cheaper version of the premiums, but once they know they can build a little bit of cash value by using the next carrier up, that's a great benefit for your clients. Now you're still showing them extra sales and why. And go into actions and you can start the e application from here or get forms. And the other one in here is an IUL protection or accumulation. We don't run a lot of quotes with this area, but it's kind of nice to be able to see how this is going to work. So I'm going to use the same female, and we're going to do pay to, to age 65. We're going to leave it as fixed. 
illustration rate, we're going to show it 6% for right now. And we're going to show the annual premium going into this case. So we're just going to choose 5000 And we're still going to leave it preferred. And this is going to show you her um, max distribution. It's going to give you the 10-year cash value flow, then 20-year. And the cash value at 865. But this doesn't have every carrier. This is only showing four of the carriers at this time. And there's so many different ways to tweak an IUL. This is out there and available for you to get some information and highlights. But this is not going to give you the full details because there's so many different moving parts to an IUL. Let me take you back here real quick into an eAP drop ticket and give you some other options that where you can run some details for yourself. Let's say that you liked the North American case. Go ahead and select Nebraska. And you're looking for Index Universal Life. Find the products. Anything that has an Index Universal Life that has the quote options here, you can run the quotes from our website, which is nice. That way you have the full illustration. Not everything that he does, but we have this information out here, and then North American has it as well on our website. These other carriers, we run it from their software. But you can do a lot of the select e signs right from our website here, too, when you got the full illustration. I hope this gives you just the quick information we're looking for today. I didn't want to go overboard with too much information for you. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you have the right details, how to run quotes, how to toggle back and forth between what we have available for you, what's available for your clients. Um, once you get out there as far as products are concerned, this is your information. This is your private details. You can go up to your information and collect my profile and you can select a few things. You can put your email address on here. You can put your phone number, your license number, and you can go to settings and you can change a few things. I always wanna show this as monthly. I always wanna show this as Nebraska. Everything else I've just kind of left blank just because I wanna be able to show everything at my own convenience. And then once you're done, everything will be set for you on this. So just wanna give you all that information and take a quick few minutes with you on this. If you do have questions, and concerns on this, please make sure that you're giving us a call. We're always here to help. Take care and have a great day.